Do you think so? Okay, essentially the boyfriend didn't like her going out, didn't like how she dressed when she was going out, uh, or even in general too. Like, didn't like how you dressed, maybe going to school or stuff like that, or. No, I don't think it was that. It was deep. just when you were going out. Yeah. Okay. So didn't like her going out, didn't like how she dressed when she was going out, and then also didn't like some of the TikTok she posts. What do you guys think? Is this, uh, is this him just having boundaries, or is this controlling and insecure, starting with you? Um, I think he's definitely insecure and maybe jealous that you get more attention than him. <laughs> Agreed. Okay. Insecure that he's, she's getting more attention than him. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Um, yeah, I, th I think it sounds like a really bad relationship where you cannot be yourself. So I think it's, it's not good on his side or for both of you, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl, thank God you got out because that <laughs> could have gone far south. Like, I don't mm. think it's, it's normal to tell people what to do. And if you don't like what they're doing, I just don't be with them, you know? Mm -hmm. Erroneous! Erroneous! Wait, wait, it could have gone a lot worse. Hell yeah. Was he abusive? No. So they were dating for f three years and it didn't go far worse. He just had boundaries. Been there. Oh, so it would have manifested, Seen that. Would have manifested in year four? Is that what you're saying? Um, I think it gets worse and worse. Like you say, as soon as the honeymoon stage is over, they try to Honey, grab... They, they were dating for three years. Yeah, but what, that's what how she called that, it. Wait, how long does it's the honeymoon... It's a honeymoon phase. What, that's like three months, said, six maybe. months, right? What? Like the first year and a half. Maybe for yeah. a year. Anyways, Shit. once that is over, I think these yeah. types of people, they will try to grab control. What do you mean these types of people, though? What's, what's wrong with not wanting What do you mean these people? To, to these people as in... What you mean, new people? <laughs> people who don't agree on what you are doing and want to control instead of stepping away. Okay. Would you prefer a man who has no boundaries or some boundaries? This is not, nothing to do with boundaries, I think. If but it's the not question was, would you prefer a man who has no boundaries or some boundaries? As in a relationship, for me personally, or? Yep. Depends what kind of boundaries, I guess. So no boundaries or some boundaries? I think boundaries. I don't know. I don't okay. know. Do but you have an example? What kind of boundaries would be acceptable? Um, well, you're a partner for life, right? So then you have to talk about, okay, I do this. Do you agree on that? Can you live with that? And the other way around as well. Okay. Well, so you're painting this guy as somebody, I don't know the guy, but you're painting him as somebody who could potentially be some sort of dan danger to her when he's simply yeah. asking her not to do TikToks, which are unnecessary. You don't need to be doing TikToks. It's not an important thing. Yeah, but it's not why, for why, her. Why, why, why wouldn't you just try and find middle ground? Yeah, you have to find middle ground. But, but you're, if you but you're saying that, that she was good to get out of the relationship and that he could have been dangerous. That, that seems like bad advice. The, I think the good advice would be maybe to have the conversation with the guy and think, what, maybe put yourself in his shoes and think, why doesn't he like me doing Sorry, this Sorry, but TikTok? you should not be with someone who calls you a bitch. That's just so disrespectful, at least. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the TikToks for now. So don't, don't you think that it would be better to have the conversation and yeah, put you yourself in his shoes? You shouldn't have a conversation with someone who calls you a but we're talking about TikTok specifically now. Yeah. Put the aside. Put the stuff aside. <laughs> just, just on TikTok <laughs> now. So, if if the the TikTok stuff to me seems so unimportant that if if you tell your girlfriend, hey, listen, you I can kind of see your titties on the TikTok, and you're mumbling all of these sexual songs. There's no real need to be doing it. I would expect her to say, yeah, good idea. Don't you think that's fair? You would enough? expect her. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't agree on that. <laughs> GMD Jim donated $199. Yeah, guys, you are just insecure and your girlfriend wants to dress like a whore for attention. JK, run from whores. Get well, Mason. All right, Jim, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the TTS, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, did you have more? Yeah, well, I mean, I just think that it's like the most basic of boundaries for me would be don't put your body on the internet and don't be mumbling all these sexual songs. There's no need to do it. If you're with me, then you shouldn't need that attention. It's not an important thing to be on TikTok. I wouldn't date someone who's do posting weird TikTok videos anyway. But Exactly. So why would you have a conversation? But I'm saying if, if well, hypothetically, we're speaking about hypothetically, if we were and she started posting all these TikTok videos, it would be a conversation where you'd say, hey, that's not okay with me. And don't you think that's a reasonable request? A what? A reasonable request. 
Um, you can talk about it, sure, but as soon as they start getting disrespectful and not accepting the way you do things, like she clearly wants to be on TikTok and all good for you, but don't be with a guy that just doesn't accept that because that's just not going to work. <sighs> Girls are horrible friends to each other. I mean, if you, <laughs> why, why is it important to be on TikTok, though, over a relationship? If you, if you like the guy and if, if you value your relationship, why would it be important to be on TikTok? Dressing like I don't know. It could be. Whoa, <laughs> can you say that on a podcast? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, why? Uh, I think if it's, I don't know what you do on there. Maybe she earns money we on just, there. Maybe she likes saw, to do I it. I mean, it's it, we saw enough. Okay. Well, I don't think I can change your mind with whatever I'm saying, but we I just think that it. it's good you got away because it could have gone worse. And I've seen it myself. What What would indicate to you that that would go worse? Well, the jealousy and clearly being disrespectful as well. I mean, if, if you're dating and somebody is just not taking into account your boundaries whatsoever, I'd be kind of pissed off too. Yeah, but then don't be together. I know, I wouldn't be, but I'm saying if that was the situation, so I was speaking in hypotheticals here. Don't you think you'd be pissed off if they were doing something, say, flirting with girls all the time when you went out in public and you said, hey, I really don't like that, and they just would, keep doing yeah. it? Would you say, hey, listen, bitch... What no, I would not say that at all. No. no. I would just not agree with it and then talk about it. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, you have uh, different priorities in life, I guess. So then it just doesn't work. So it's, it's no use. Just step away and look for someone else. Yep. Just step away. Yeah. Why, why the jump, though, to it could have gone way worse because he doesn't want his girlfriend to post provocative photos or dress provocatively or go to parties doesn't doesn't that seem like a pretty reasonable boundary for a relationship minded man i don't know i think it depends on how far it goes to me like when i see this is just she's just having fun um mm -hmm. sorry i know this is about you but you know that's what that's what 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 i've seen mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be a problem at all but when he's trying to control her and telling her you shouldn't post this um, I don't like it when you wear this and then calling sure. her a bitch. That just to me screams like, get out. Get That's out. not normal. No, No, it's super normal. Yeah, should you just be able to do whatever you want all the time with no consequences? No, that's not what I'm saying. What about if you're flirting with the people all the time? Is that a boundary that he could set? How do you say? If you're flirting with people, if you guys go out and you're at, at the bar flirting with other guys, is that a, is that a boundary that he can set? Uh, yeah, it depends if you have an open relationship and if you're fine with that, the both of you. What about if you go out to the bar and, and you're dressed really skimpily and guys are looking at your tits all the time? Do you think that that's something that he can say, hey, listen, I don't like when you, when you dress so provocatively? Yeah, you can. Okay, then Definitely. why can't he do it on TikTok? Because it's kind of different. Why? I think you got, it's actually probably worse. You've got like hundreds of thousands of guys oogling over her breasts. Yeah, but is that really a problem, though? Yes, I think problem. if if you want to post these types of TikToks because um, you want to dance and have fun and your boyfriend doesn't agree with that, well, then... So he should just accept that you can do whatever you want all the time with no consequences? Oh, no, it works both ways, for sure. What do you mean? That we should all be able to do whatever we want all the time with no consequences? No, you have to, like, have good communication and uh, set boundaries. And so the Who do you think was communicating better out of those two? Who's communicating Who better? Who do you think was a better communicator? A better? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know them. Did it look like one person had boundaries and one person wasn't respecting the boundaries? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the situation. We, we just heard it. Yeah, I'm just saying on my opinion on what I just heard. But I can't like go deep into it because I have no idea what the situation really was, what kind of person, how much mm -hmm. they talked, all that stuff. 